I'm back, and as you can see, I changed my outfit. What do you think? I'm not really good at, like, outfit stuff or designing or stuff, so I'm a little scared to try that part out in the game, because, well, like I said, not my strong suit. Well, anyway, first I'm going to check on the restaurant, because Mother Gothel's there, and it's like, cheesecake. Well, as I was saying, it's like, a. It's money when he. It's easy money when you do this. Okay, not always easy. More often than not, it's hard money, but it's still money and you're keeping the villagers fed. It's good enough for me. Alright, I just need wheat, sugar cane, fruit, and cheese. Should be simple enough. Yeah, I got a new companion, too. I got a little bird flying around. Isn't it cute? Alright, now isn't it cute? Well, yeah, I activated a ton of quests behind the scenes, but... Well, I made them capable of giving me quests. One more coin. Where is it? Ugh. I almost got it, too. Don't you just hate when that happens? Alright, wheat, sugar cane, and fruit. Hey there! Just takes a lot easier than I thought it would be. Hey, time to grow the sugar cane. I know I'm doing this instead of quests, but I really like feeding the people. Howdy. I can wait. Sugar cane's not that long to grow. Not compared to uh, garlic. No, no, onions. It's onions that are the growing ones. Do I have any fruit? I got an apple and cheese. But. But I also have all of Eric's meals, which I also made behind the scenes. I say give it to them. I mean, give them to him. If I can find him. Okay, got the wheat. First things first, finish quests you already have before you start new ones. Which I could do if I could find Eric. Oh, how sweet. He's with Ariel. Though not really talking to her. Do you have a second? Yep, let's give them to him. He's starving. Or knows I kept him hungry long enough. Oh yeah, you see the Lion King backpack? I had more moonstones than I needed, and I ended up buying all the special items in the shop. I got the deco, that flower dress, and and I got that other thing. Oh yeah, the space thing. Corinne, this looks delicious. Even better than what Chef Louie makes. Thanks! Wow, that was great. I feel so much better. I can't wait to talk to Ariel. I know she'll be so happy to see you. Let's go now. Bye. They were just near each other, now they're far away from each other again. And he's gotta run all the way back to the ocean. I mean, can you even imagine? I got your back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh! Sorry, screen, screen froze. Where's he? And I almost lost Eric, but I'm catching up. It helps that I'm taking shortcuts. 
But he's still, like, way, way ahead of me. Come on, don't start reuniting until I'm there. Ariel! It's me! I'm finally human again! Oh, Eric! That makes me so happy! I wanted to tell you... I'm sorry about the deal with Ursula. I just wanted to protect you, and... It's all right. I made a deal with her once too, remember? Never again then? Never again. We're together now, and that's all that matters. Oh, how sweet. Can't wait to get back out on the water. Has a whole new meaning. Now <laughs> you just talked to Ariel. I can't thank you enough, Corinne. There were times when Ursula had me captive that I lost hope. I thought I'd never see Ariel again. <laughs> but now, because of you, we're reunited. No problem. Helping the valley is what I do. There's just one thing I can't stop thinking about. Something Ursula said to taunt me. Actually, never mind. You've already helped me enough for one day. I'm gonna try to solve this mystery on my own. Thanks again, Corinne. Wow. All right, I got that. Now let's see what I gotta do to... Huh, that should be easy. Thanks, Smaller Corinne. levels are always easier. So when you get to the big levels, you get a problem. Hi, Corinne. Do you like living here? I love Dazzle Beach. The sultry sea air, the wind blowing in your face. There's nothing like it. I love the ocean. You do? We're pretty similar then. What's your favorite thing about the sea? Oh, they don't have mine. <laughs> Mine's the ocean life. Yes, so. Well, mermaids are ocean life. Let's go with that. The mermaids. Not everyone believes in them, but you and I know they're real. And one of them, at least, is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, I talk to mermaids, like, on a daily basis in this village. I know they're real. Oh, bye. All right. Hi, Corinne. They never make it easy, do they? Thank you. I gave him a Mediterranean salad, asparagus, and a diamond. <laughs> Sugarcane's still not grown. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on many. I'm still a little sh I'm still a little traumatized by that whole uh, <laughs> by that whole clock tower making quest. Okay, not traumatized, but I'm still... I don't know what the right word is. I'm still shooken up about it. Right now I'm going to give something to Goofy. I found a sock with a G How on it. One step closer to finding Stitch. God, this place is a mess. Yep. Good to see you. Say, what you got there, Corinne? It's a sock. I was thinking it might be yours. You're Whoa. right! It is one of my socks. I've been looking for them everywhere. All my socks just up and disappeared the other day. All of them? Hmm. Now that I think about it, it was only half of them. The left sock out of every pair is gone. Left sock. But socks don't... Never mind. Maybe the sock band wants us all to be mismatched. You think so? I wonder why. Did you see anything else that was unusual? As a matter of fact, I saw some funny lights in the sky before it happened. I just thought it was some kind of shooting star, but now that I think about it, Donald's been going on about sock stealing space aliens for a week now. Maybe he's right. A terrifying prospect. Say, maybe the space aliens left behind some sort of clue when they messed up my house. Good idea. I'll look around your house for clues. Oh, that explains the trash. Alright, 
right, now it's Donald's turn to help out with this. And I also got to talk to Merlin about the whole, uh, well, I found a doorbell with an M on it. No, a doorknob with an M, and I got to talk to Merlin about that. Oh, the sugar cane's grown. I will handle that right after I deliver Mother Gothel her cheesecake. Okay, time to get back to the plaza. Oh, pet the bird. So cute. It's one more in ingredient and your cheesecake will be coming right up. I forgot if it was supposed to be butter or cheese. Oh, it's cheese. Of course, cheesecake. Of course it'd be cheese. <laughs> and these ingredients are expensive. Cheesecake. All right, Mother Gothel, your cheesecake is coming right up. Oh, hello, dear. Ugh, you again. Just teasing, dear. Delightful to see you. I have your order. <laughs> Is this really the best thing you can think to give me? Just kidding, darling. I love it. What are you waiting for? Go! So the food just disappears and they sit there for a while. <sighs> hey, Donald's just nearby. At his uncle's shop. Chair. Oh, look at it later. Oh, greetings, look at this item, are you? Looking at this item, are you? Shining mirror. A fine acquisition for someone of good taste. I'll come back later. I but remember, my sock isn't always the same. I meant to talk to God Donald and I accidentally looked at that. What's that? Another clue? It's unidentified creature fur. It could be from a space alien, but it could also be from a raccoon or something. Consider, and in Guardians of the Galaxy, there is an actual space raccoon. Don't think it's a coincidence it got worded that way since Marvel is owned by Disney. Do I think the Marvel characters are going to be in this game? No, it would take away the mystique. Bad idea. Don't be ridiculous. What kind of raccoon just steals just half of everybody's socks? And that fur is blue. Besides, remember that funny doohickey we found in my house? That didn't come from any raccoon. Hey, I just got an idea. The doohickey started beeping again. Let's see what happens when we put the fur inside it. Did you see that? It started flashing again. What does it say? It says, DNA match. Authorization 66% complete. Whack! It's making even less sense than it did before. I think it means that fur came from whatever is stealing everybody's socks. And that we might only need to find one more clue to make it go 100%. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That'll be easy. I'll keep my eyes out for any more clues. Well, part two in getting Stitch back. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, my voice is feeling a little hoarse. It always does. I talk all the time regularly, but when I do one of these things, well, it kind of wears out my 
Kind of wears out my throat. I don't know why. Right now I gotta find Merlin. Oops. I hate when they're so near the exit like that. It's so annoying. All right now, we have work to do. Yeah, let's give it to him. Well, hello. How marvelous! A golden doorknob with an M engraved in it. Now this may not look like much, Corinne, but it's proof your efforts against the forgetting are bearing fruit. I found this lying around the village. Who does it belong to? Why, this belongs to a charming young lass named Mirabelle Madrigal, a woman from a movie I still haven't seen. You wanted her to feel at home, so with my help, you enchanted her house to remind her of where she's from. The enchantment gave the building the power to reflect Mirabelle's kindness and energy, but even so, well, we, never expect, we never expected Minnie Casita to become quite so magical and so protective of its inhabitants. What do you mean? Uh, yes. When the forgetting struck, Mirabelle, like many of us, started to lose her memories. Then, one morning, her house wasn't there anymore. I quickly went to investigate and what I discovered astonished me. To protect Mirabelle, her home disappeared into a small universe of its own. Finding this golden doorknob killing me one thing. Mina Casita is considering coming back. But first, you'll need to prove to it that the valley is safe once again. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. Marvelous! Now, houses believe in deeds, not words. And houses often come to resemble their inhabitants. To prove the valley safe for Mirabel, you have to embody the Madrigal's values. What are the Madrigal's values? Well, I'm told they always believe in bringing their village together to help the community. Now, I remember Mirabel checking on everyone here to ensure their needs were fulfilled. Oh, and she also became quite fond of photographs, if that helps. Hmm. I could take some pictures of villagers. As they're making sure everyone's needs are fulfilled, could check what the villagers need and give them some gifts. Fine ideas indeed, Corinne. Why, simply engaging some of the villagers in conversation might be enough. After all, everyone appreci appreciates being thought of. Take this golden doorknob. It's infused with dreamlight. So the more acts of kindness you perform, the more magic it will gain. Once it has enough, many casita will return. I'll give this a trial run. I'll talk to you once I'm done. Thank you. You're very kind. Hmm, this should be a simple quest. Alright, I still gotta grow Eric's asparagus. And that's at the Frosted Hides, meaning asparagus could take forever to grow. Perhaps you just weren't meant to. Oh. Hi, pal. Hi. What are you up to? I'm just taking care of some chores around the village. <laughs> but you know all about that. You're always running around pulling out night thorns or digging holes or any of the other things you do. I just like helping people. Well, don't forget, the rest of us villagers are happy to lend a hand. You can always ask us to come along, and we'll help you take care of all your dreamlike duties. Of course, we'll be a lot more help if it's something we're good at. Ha ha! See you real soon! <laughs> Alright, time to see Buzz's quest since he's here. Corinne, I've done a thorough surveillance of the valley, but I've yet to find the best way to make myself useful here. Could you assist me? I'd love to help. Great! I, uh, well, I'm just not used to feeling unsure of myself. I've become quite skilled at being a toy, but here, I don't have to freeze whenever a human walks by. Everyone I speak to is so tall. Add to that, some of you have magical powers. I may have karate chop action and high pressure space wings, but I don't have that. You're a hero in, you're a hero in your own way. Uh, I'm glad you think so. I may be a foot tall, made of plastic, but part of me will always feel like a real space ranger. That's it, Buzz. That's what you can do around here. You can set up a star command a star command outpost. 
You mean like a local law enforcement unit? Hmm. That just might work. I can go on missions, uncover mysteries, patrol the perimeter. And my first act would be to recruit you into the ranks. Welcome aboard, cadet. We'll use the RV as Star Command Headquarters. But we'll also need to build a transportation fleet. I'll make a Space Ranger ship to put in front of it. This shouldn't be... <laughs> we can't be Space Rangers without a spaceship. Roger that, Corinne. A Space Ranger ship shouldn't be too difficult to construct with someone for someone with your talents. You'll need glass, hardwood, and some iron ingots. I knew keeping hold of those iron ingots would come in handy. It's wonderful how you're helping people. Thanks, Elsa. I gotta help someone else by talking to you. Hello, my Corinne, friend. I'm so happy to see you. Do you have a question? Yes. You spend a lot of time talking to people, don't you? I still find that difficult sometimes. Just say what you feel. Well, I am getting better at understanding what I feel. I suppose that's a good step. It is. Thank you, Corinne. That helps. Goodbye. All right, still gotta grow the asparagus. I gotta find ten hardwood for Buzz. No, oh, that was not hardwood. That was hardwood. Time to buy the asparagus and How's it going? Wow! Getting the asparagus for Eric. collecting hardwood for bats. The hardwood one is turning out to be more difficult than I thought, but it still beats the the iron ingots, which thankfully I already have like 10 of them. New holding on to those will pay off. Come on, iron. No, hardwood, hardwood. Okay, that was only one. Eh, I can always sell the softwood. Just two more hardwood to go, and I'm on glass duty. Okay, you heard that too. I heard it let me out.
Yeah, I knew that was soft wood, but I had to check. More soft wood. To the, un to the untrained eye, soft wood and hard wood do not look that different. And yes, I am saying that I have an untrained eye. Hey, I got the hardwood taken care of. Now let's see. Glass. How to make the glass. It means I need 15 sand. And a digger. Eh, I can ask Woody what his quest is while I'm going there. Excuse me, uh, could you come here for a second? Howdy, Corinne. Are you ready to help me with my big project? I want to start fixing the carousel so I can help make folks around here even happier. I can't wait to get started. Great. Because so I'm going to need you to do most of the heavy lifting, lifting since, well, I'm a toy. Everything I've ever fixed up till now can be patched with gum or a little bit of tape. So I have no idea where to start on something this big. Let's go see Kristoff. He's handy with tools. Good idea. I hear he survived in the Forest of Valor when he was trapped by the Nightthorns. He must have learned to make the best of whatever he had on hand. Plus, he's always working on that sled of his. Thanks. You know, since what he's following me, Hey, Mom! Oh, oh, sorry, I did not mean to say that on the... <laughs> My mom came home, I did not mean to... Oops. <laughs> Alright, going to see Kristoff. Where is Kristoff? Okay, that map misled me. Oh, I thought he was inside the house. I guess he wasn't. Hi. Hey, Corinne. Good to see you. What's up? Quinny and I are trying to fix his carousel. We could use your help to figure out where to start. I'd be happy to help. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came to me. I've seen how worn down the carousel looks, and I wanted to do something, but I didn't exactly know how to approach it. It would have been a little odd for me to just show up with a bunch of planks and nails. Is that what we need? Oh. Not exactly. I've had some time to think about how I'd fix the carousel, and you're going to need a repair kit. You can make them for everything nowadays. Boots? Sleds? Why not a carousel? Okay, I'm listening. I jotted down a few ideas. You'll see. It's pretty simple. If you gather these materials, you should be able to craft a carousel repair kit in no time. Hey, thanks. Oh, boy. All right, let's check that other quest I got. Hey, I'm doing well on the take different pictures with different villagers thing. Oops. Yeah, I'm not saving those pictures where the villagers or myself look awful. Not fair to me, not fair to them. Right now all you gotta do is wait for the asparagus to grow. Oh boy, more people. Went to Remy's shop. I 
guess I'm asking Anna since Scar's asking for meals right now. Yes, I did make Anna a digger because I had no diggers and I didn't know what else to do with her. If Elsa's here, then I'm here. Hi. Kind of a package deal. Let's hang out. Oh, I'm definitely in. Let's go. Just gonna focus on Buzz's quest right now because it's easier and I'm almost finished with it. Alright, no escaping this now. Let's see what Minnie wants. Yoo-hoo, Corinne! I've been thinking about all the wonderful work you do. It's so kind of you, but I think you could use some help. So, I think it was, it's time we put the Cheerful Chums Club back together. What's the Cheerful Glum Chums Club? Oh, I thought I'd mentioned it to you. The club was a group of villagers. We made sure everyone in the village had what they needed. It was a lot like what you do. Before the forgetting, we used to hold secret meetings in the swamp. We usually held those secret meetings to plan surprise parties. <laughs> we even had our own banner. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything left of it. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Said I was gonna do Buzz's quest real quick. And Minnie's quest might start out with something simple, but it's gonna get it's gonna get more difficult. Trust me. The 50 iron ingots I had to collect still haunt me. Yes, I know I'm trying to collect 15 sand, but it's still better than the iron ingots. Ooh, got some sand. More sand. And a clam. And gold, but I'm not going to turn that down. Pebbles. Gold again. Yeah, the sand thing can be difficult too, but I'm not giving up. Woohoo, sand! Just six more sand left and I'm done. It looks like my energy got done with me a lot faster and I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, it's so gross when I do that. On two more sand, just two more. <sighs> Three more. And Anna's giving me more. All right, I'm gonna look for uh, that. I think it's in. Yeah, it's in the Glade of Trust, the long lost banner.
I figured I'd collect some more hardwood for Woody's quest. Woody needs five, Buzz needs ten, so all in all I need fifteen. Oh, that okra I tried to grow last night when Kristoff wanted okra. Got 15, got that taken care of. Hey, I found something. Oh. Hi. Bye, let's hang out later. We have got to do that again. I really like spending time with you. Thank you so much. All right, talk to Manny real quick. I know, I promise I continue the Olaf quest, but I like to get the side quest out of the way before I do any of the main story quest. Hello, Corinne. Oh, what do you have there? It's a bit of a mess, but it's a banner and it says, Cheerful Chumps? Oh, of course. That's the banner from the club I told you about. I asked, but I couldn't find any rem remaining members of the club. So we'll just have to start it up again. Now, we have a saying at the club. Always make sure Dreamlight Valley is a happy and beautiful place. I think Anna and Woody came up with that. We should repair the banner for them. Let's see. We'll need to make a new red dye and gather some fabric and gold nuggets. The next thing to do is get some new members. Anna and Woody used to be in the club. I'll see if they're here. And of course, you should be an official member, Corinne. Actually, you should be the president. Would you mind if we had our first meeting in your house? No problem at all. Wonderful. I'll go get the other members and we'll meet you at your house. It may take me a while, so you should have time to repair the banner and hang it up to welcome everyone to the club. I knew we had to make something. Please don't be the please don't be as difficult or more than the clock tower. Goodbye. Okay. Not not nightmare levels like the clock tower was. But I'm going to finish up with Buzz's quest. And he just needs three glass. Oh, red dye. What do I need for that? I knew this wasn't going to be simple. One Space Ranger ship coming right up, Buzz. Where'd you come from? the RV and out of the way. Alright, Buzz, what do you say about that? To infinity and beyond. And that's what he always says. Nice work, cadet. Now let's hop in and head out on patrol. Er, I made the Space Ranger ship to your specifications. So, it's kind of small. It's going to be a tight squeeze for me. That's an understatement. Ah, uh, yes. I see how that could be a problem. Also, you're not exactly ready for, a for official Space Ranger duties yet. Before we do anything else, you need a proper uniform. Uh. I understand Tr Scrooge McJuck is in charge of commerce around here. I suggest you speak to him. He's going to charge me an arm and a leg for a space suit. Minnie, I'm saving you for last. Well, second last. I'll get you done before the story quest. I need to talk to you. And in Kanto's quest because I still haven't seen that movie yet. Hello. Hi, Corinne. What do you need in what are you in need of today? I need to requisition a Space Ranger uniform. To help Buzz feel more at home around here. 
That's a noble cause, but I haven't got anything like that in my regular inventory. I'm afraid it's going to cost you a pretty penny, but I'm willing to trade with you. First, you'll need to make some navy blue dye. For that, you'll need some blue falling pedestons, some blueberries, and coal. Okay, I'll get you some navy blue dye. What else? In addition to the navy blue dye, I'll need some fibers, softwood, and a topaz to pay for my services. Goodbye now. <sighs> Scrooge is difficult too. I gotta finish at least one of these quests before I quit. Alright, what do I need to make the fabric? Alright. Oh, Cotton. That takes forever to grow. Speaking of forever to grow, how's the asparagus coming along? Not coming along at all. Right, I'm just gonna grow like 10 things of cotton. I don't think I'm finishing any quest before my... Yeah, that'd be a fun title. Starting quests, but never finishing, but never finishing them. But for that to happen... Oh, I finished Eric's. But I didn't start his on this video, so that could still work. Hey there. the cotton. What the? Well, this thing froze. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to end this video of starting things and never finishing them because my thing is officially frozen and I gotta get out of this. This has been Suburban Time Waster. Please like and subscribe, and next time I'm going to just be finishing up the side quest I started and hopefully getting back to the Olaf quest. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.